Hello everyone, welcome to another week of instruction in our fourth grade classroom. My name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. We just came from a three day weekend since yesterday was holiday. It was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. So today was a really productive day and I tried to schedule it in a way that would be exciting for the students. Even though this morning we started with our iReady diagnostic testing for AP2, but I make sure the rest of the day had some pockets here and there that the students will look forward to. And we ended the day with a bang. So here is an overview of our agenda for today. As you can see, we got through our agenda. Actually, we got through the entire agenda, which I am actually pretty proud of. And this matter quiz was actually a GIM kit. In writing, we were going over one of the buckets, which would be one of the body paragraphs for our essay. So we titled the bucket with the first supporting reason to the prompt, why did the civil rights movement need it to happen? So one of the supporting reasons was that African-Americans did not have equal rights. So we looked back at our source one, and then we gathered evidence from source one. We went ahead and kind of summarized what were the equal rights that they didn't have and then we elaborated on that and then i had them think of transitions to start off their reason and then of course their evidence and elaboration is here which can then help them form a paragraph and this is the acronym that we use tree transition reason evidence and elaboration and we use enough evidence and elaboration to fully explain our reason the next step would be for the students to work in groups tomorrow. I am having them work in groups as they write this one body paragraph so that they know how to go ahead and proceed with the rest of the essay. So I told them, how do we eat an elephant? We're not literally eating an elephant. It just represents a big task one bite at a time. Because when it comes to writing something like this, a lot of my fourth graders have never written essays until they got to fourth grade this year. So I'm trying to find different ways to break it down for them, to help them see the structure and make it make sense so that when they write on their own, they have an idea of how to let their writing flow. All right, so let me go ahead and give you a glimpse of the passage that we will be reading today in reading. This is the passage that we started reading on Friday. So today we did a reread of it and we made sure to do our annotations on the margins, answering these reading response questions and doing annotations on the text itself. And we went ahead and had great discussions about the different things that we noticed in the text. And tomorrow I have these reading response questions for them to complete based on this particular passage, which these were given to us by our district. Some of them do come from the book itself and the students will answer that for their reading. In math, we're working on adding and subtracting mixed numbers. So with this one, because it was three and one third minus one and two thirds, I had to show the students how to rename three and one thirds into something different. So we started by thinking, well, three and one thirds, I can write it as three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds plus one third, that will be equal to that. And they can take two of these and then that will be two wholes and add these two together to make four thirds. And then I can easily subtract four thirds minus two thirds, which is two thirds and two minus one is one. Another way that I showed them was by making the model. So we had four different rectangles that we separated into thirds because that's our denominator. And then we filled in three and one third. So three and one third. And then we subtracted one and two thirds and we're left with one and two thirds as the answer so that I can help my visual students understand how we're doing that. And then I went ahead and when it was time for independent work so that they could keep working on these mixed numbers, I had students that needed some additional support to come to my kidney table and had a good group of students where we just worked on the problems one by one and I answered their questions. And I was happy to say that at the end of it, a lot of them understood what they needed to do. So that made me really happy. And then we ended the day, of course, with our GIM kit on the changes of matter. And we ended up playing the one that is similar to Among Us, where the students answer questions, they earn energy points, they use those energy points to go to the mission control and purchase investigations so that they can investigate their fellow crewmates and see which ones are the imposters. And once they accumulate enough clues, we call a meeting and we discuss, and then they vote to see who 
they're going to vote out as an imposter. I actually made my first mistake. I thought one particular person was the imposter and ended up not being so, but then we ended up having another meeting towards almost dismissal and we voted our first imposter out and then we had another meeting and voted our second imposter out so the crewmates won and they absolutely loved it and at the same time they were reviewing physical and chemical changes and what i love about game kit is that that particular game mode along with a couple of other game modes that they have the students just keep answering the same questions over and over it cycles through those questions so that the students continue to get that mastery for the content that they're reviewing that was a lot of fun and they're looking forward to maybe doing another Kim kit later this week. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I got to grab my things and go. I do have some grading to do, but instead of doing it in the classroom, I'm just going to organize the papers, take it home and grade from the comfort of my house as I put something on the TV and just get my fancy pens and get those grades done because the second grading period ends this week. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, it is now Wednesday. I'm coming to you at the end of the day to show you what we ended up accomplishing today. Today is a short day since it's Wednesday. Students have early release at 1.50. And today I also had a special event to attend where I had to be interviewed about my principal because she is a finalist for principal of the year. So I'm very excited for her. And of course, I had to be out of my room for about 30 minutes or so while I did that. So the students had a teacher cover for me. And then when I got back, we continued on our day. Now we did need a couple of extra minutes for a couple of different things. So we didn't get through a lot of things. So let me just give you a glimpse of today's agenda. The first thing that we needed more time with today was the iReady Diagnostics since a lot of students started finishing their test. So we didn't have time to do these things, which I'm going to move for tomorrow. I left during bonus reading time. I did leave this for my students in bonus reading to do. But when I came back, I learned that Spanish was actually canceled. So the teacher ended up giving them some extra time and free time per se. And then when I came back, we had our recess and snack time. We moved writing over because I needed to send a message to parents. So that took some time about something that came up. And then in math, we got through all of this and I can't wait to show you one of the things that we did in math. We had lunch and because we needed more time for math, I am moving this for tomorrow. This is the problem that the students had today for our math on the spot video. Basically, they had three brass instruments that were different lengths if you were to stretch them out. And then they had to figure out how much longer was the tuba than the French horn and how much longer was the French horn than the trombone. Now, if you notice, when we are subtracting, the students had to rename 18 feet into a mixed number. So the way we did that is we took one hole and we changed it into a fraction. So 17 and 12 twelfths is the same as 18. And now I can go ahead and subtract that from this, which of course the answer was 11 twelfths. Now, the way I had the students work on this was first on their whiteboards and obviously with their groups. And then I gave each group a piece of white paper so that they can solve the problem. And I paused the math on the spot video before Professor Berger went over the explanation. He's the person that was showing the problem on the video. And then I had the students present their solutions to the class after lunch and then agree or disagree with that solution and explain why. So once I had a few teams, share their solutions they each turned in their paper so that i could see their solution and then we went over it so for the second question they needed to subtract 17 and 112 and 9 and 11 twelfths. and as you can see 1 minus 11 they needed to regroup so they needed to rename 17 and 112 by taking one hole away from 17 which left 16 and then adding 12 twelfths to 112 which would be 16 and 13 twelfths and then they could subtract. So 13 twelfths minus 11 twelfths is two twelfths and 16 minus nine was seven. So that's how they got their answer and they were able to show that. After every team presenter the answer, then we watched the rest of the video to see how Professor Berger solved his problem and the students were able to compare how they solved it with his. 
and that pretty much was our day because then I had to address something else that happened during lunch and had to contact the counselors and stuff like that. So that obviously does take time, but overall we had a great day and tomorrow is our last day together for this week. So I'm going to get my things ready because I have another grading party to do at home. So let me get to that and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and wait, but by the way, let me show you my outfit today because I wanted to kind of dress professional. So this is what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing a white top with a baby blue blazer. I really love this color. My black dress pants and my pointy flat shoes and it's super, super cute. All right, now I can leave you and I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to Thursday, everyone. Coming to you late at the end of the day. It's actually 7.30. I stayed after school working on some final grades, and now I gotta go home and prepare for the presentation for tomorrow's 90-minute PD that I'm doing tomorrow morning on the Novel Wonder. I probably mentioned this already, but today was a good day with the students. I did not put the agenda on the board, so you have to excuse me. We're not gonna review it. Basically, we started the morning. I had to split up one of my fourth grade teachers' as class who wasn't here today, so I had four of her students, and my students continued working on their iReady diagnostics. Some students started on their math, and other students worked on their reading. I still have about four or five students that need to finish their reading for next week, so we'll continue that and then of course continue with math I ready diagnostic then after that we ended up not having time for reading since they needed extra time to test and Spanish was canceled so we ended up just having a silent reading time and then my bonus reading students took their chapter 2 test on the computer using our horizons elevate intervention reading program and then after that, I needed the students to enter all their answers for different past reading assessments that we have taken for this grading period. The students took the assessments when they needed to, but I needed to also take them to the computer lab so they can enter their responses online, and I just hadn't found time to do so, so we went ahead and did that. And that took us about an hour to complete, so then it was time for lunch, we had recess, and then after a recess, they went to art. And after art, we ended the day with math. I don't have any highlights from today. That's just what I wanted to give you a rundown of what our day was like. And now I got to get going because I got to go home and I got to prepare for my presentation tomorrow, which I'll definitely let you know about. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. So I have something to tell you. I am not coming from Friday. I'm actually coming from Tuesday of the following week and basically i stayed up very late on thursday night finishing my grades and finishing the presentation for the pd that i was going to do friday morning which was a 90 minute pd on the novel wonder for selected gifted teachers that had signed up there were about seven teachers that signed up so if you're watching this and you were one of those teachers i'm so sorry i couldn't make it but i woke up on friday morning with a severe excruciating pain on my left rib cage and it was hard to walk it was hard to breathe breathing in deep was very painful it was really scary the pain was so severe i was nauseous so i called 911 and they took me to the er and i was there pretty much the entire day on friday they ran a variety of tests good news my heart is good my lungs are good they even did a ct scan and there's no mass in my chest so that's also good news so the doctor ended up deciding that it was a muscular skeletal chest pain and probably due to me pulling a muscle by picking up my cart that had the papers that i was grading that's a possibility. I just never had a pain like that before. And I have lifted this cart up in the past, not recently, but I have. So it was bizarre. And so they gave me pain medicine, muscle relaxers, and the doctor told me to stay home until today, which is the 25th. So I am officially reporting back to work today. Yesterday, I also took the day off. I pretty much stayed home the entire weekend, just laying down, resting, relaxing, not doing anything, taking my medicine, and just trying to get better. I do realize that last week was a very stressful week, and in retrospect, my mind thinks I can do all the things, but my body then shuts down, like I feel it did on Friday, and tells me, no, we cannot do all the things. Please 
lay down and rest. So that's where we are. So moving forward, I'm going to try to take it easy and not put so much on my plate. And even when I think that I could do it, to be a little bit more realistic and just acknowledge the limitations or just not push myself as much as I have been doing. So if you're watching this up to this point, let this be your message. Take time to rest and take care of yourself as well. All right, so I'm gonna end the video here and start the new one for today in a separate video vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's free and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello, dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.